travel because the industry is experiencing some pretty big problems with staffing shortages, scheduling changes, and a whole lot more. People are certainly ready to travel again, but airlines appear to be having problems accommodating the higher demand. Travel expert Peter Greenberg joins us now uh, to talk about uh, what we can expect in the months ahead. But Peter, let's talk first about that federal judge's ruling on masks on airplanes, buses, and trains. Do you really think masks are going to go away anytime soon, or do the airlines have a little latitude here? Well, they could go away as early as tomorrow. Remember, the judge in Tampa ruled that the ruling was illegal. And uh, at this moment, we haven't heard that the Justice Department is actually filing an appeal. So based on that, it's almost like staying in execution order or, or basically a get out of jail free card for people who want to get off the masks. So there's great confusion right now, especially in the executive suites at the airlines as they're trying to come up with a response. But right now, remember, the rule was that if you didn't wear your mask on an airplane, bus, train, subway, public transportation, you were in violation of federal law. The judge's ruling says essentially you're not because the ruling itself was illegal. Hmm. So stay tuned, fasten your seatbelt. <laughs> I'm going to be flying tomorrow. I'll be bringing a mask. Let's see what happens if I have to wear it. Yeah. yeah, and you wonder if people are, are ready to actually start removing those masks as they fly. I want to talk about uh, gas prices or fuel prices and how it's affecting some of these flights and the hike in prices that we're seeing with airlines. Well, the fuel prices are just part of the equation. We have a, a, almost a perfect storm here between airlines that are overscheduled, understaffed, throw in the fuel prices, now add increased demand from passengers, and then add a little bit of weather, now you understand why systems fail. Uh, right now, the airline's only solution in the short term is to cut flights. So JetBlue cut 27 routes last week. Southwest is cutting like 10% of their flight schedule. United is gonna go down about 20,000 flights in May or June. That's just to try to stabilize. Now you couple that with increased demand, that means every flight's gonna be full. Your airfare has nowhere to go but up. I, I saw an airfare was just poking around online last week. Um, Salt Lake City to Chicago, a round trip in June, $950, which is three times as much as it usually is. Look, three weeks ago, my airfare from Los Angeles to San Francisco, a flight that takes 38 minutes, was $93. Hmm. Today, it's over $410. Wow. I'm flying New York tomorrow to Los Angeles. That airfare three weeks ago was $290. Tomorrow, it's $810. Wow. So, yeah, the big question comes, you know, what comes next? Is that going to be enough to keep travelers away from heading out to a destination that they've been looking forward to for probably the last couple of years since they haven't been able to fly during the pandemic? Well, the indications that I'm getting, not just from airlines, but from hotels, they're filling their hotels, they're filling their flights, and people are not being as rate sensitive as they normally would because they've been waiting to travel this long. Now, we will get to a tipping point. Don't kid ourselves. But right now, those planes are full. Peter, uh, you've got a show on, that airs on WGN Radio, but you've also got a show on PBS, and you spent some time in Tanzania. Before we go, uh, tell us quickly about that special. It's called Tanzania the Royal Tour. It premieres tonight right there on WTTW Channel 11. It's one of a series of, of specials I've done for 20 years now where I go to individual heads of state, kings, presidents, prime ministers, and I get from them the impossible. They give me eight days of their schedule devoted only to me, huh. and then for the next eight days, they're my tour guide to the country. Two people on a road trip, one of whom just happens to run the country. <laughs> wow, that sounds really fun. I guess you don't yeah. wait in too many lines when you're with the president of Tanzania. Or with the president of anywhere, but yeah. the cool thing is that everything I do on the show tonight is accessible to the audience. Mm, neat. All right. Very cool. Thank you so much, Peter Greenberg. You can listen to Peter on uh, WGN Radio Saturdays at 11 a.m. And his latest TV series, as he's talked about, Tanzania, the Royal Tour, debuts tonight on WTTW at 9 p.m. See you then. Thanks, guys. And mm -hmm. also, you're welcome, Channel 11, for the yeah, free vlog. Yeah, yeah, really. Next for us, back to work for the Bulls as they try to put a rough night of shooting behind them. Jared Payton looks ahead to game two with the Bucks next.